Hi everyone, so for all active campaign and sales message users, this update is for you. I'm going to walk you through some amazing new features and improvements that we added to the platform that takes the integration to a whole new level. It all starts with the newly added sales message custom objects. So we added two, one for calls and one for SMS. Now these custom objects extend your standard active campaign objects with a whole bunch of sales message attributes for calls and SMS. The good thing about these custom objects is that they are updated in real time with sales message events. So with every call you make, and every text message you send or receive. And each one of these custom objects comes with a very rich set of attributes uh, that comes straight from sales message. They're also nicely contained so that they're not, they don't clutter your list of attributes for your contact object in Active Campaign. Now, what can you do with these custom objects? The most important and the coolest application is actually being able to run your workflows and automations based on sales message events. So let's take a look at two simple examples. Let's say you want to send a build a nurture workflow campaign where you just send a, a nudge text to leads that you have not engaged, let's say, in the last 15 days. Now you can simply trigger uh, such a workflow with a sales message uh, event. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So for this uh, SMS nurture campaign, I am going to choose the last contacted date as my trigger criteria. So I'm simply going to choose this new sales message call record created, call updated, SMS created, SMS updated, these new four uh, app-based triggers that are available for you now. And I'm going to pick the sales message SMS created. From there, I'm going to segment out a specific subset of the customers that I'm interested in engaging and choose the last contacted date and I'm going to say that it's last 15 days. What this is going to do is it's going to tease out uh, the leads uh, in your CRM that you have not texted in the last 15 days and send them an SMS. And this is just running on the background. Every time uh, such a lead exists, they will receive your nurture text. Another simple yet powerful workflow you can build with these uh, sales message based triggers is being able to send a quick follow up text after a missed call. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that here. I'm going to again select a sales message based trigger, in this case using the calling custom object. And from there, I'm going to choose the attribute call disposition and specify the type as missed. So now what's going to happen every time I get a call from a customer or a lead and I miss that call for whatever reason, I'm going to follow up with a quick uh, message telling them, sorry for missing your call, I'll get back to you shortly or you can text me in the meantime. So to round it up with these new updates, uh, we enriched the timeline event activities here for you on the contact record. So every call, every SMS, and even every note you add in sales message is nicely logged here with a very rich set of details, including the um, call recording and the call transcript, just for you to have all the information you need at your fingertips. So that sums it up for these updates for ActiveCampaign. I hope they help you use the integration better. And thanks again for watching.